Welcome back, friends. I got a good one for you today. I have flown out here to Linden, Utah. It's right outside of Salt Lake City, and we're going to visit these guys. Way safe. You guys know I've recommended this hitch multiple times. Uh, it did very well in our hitch battle. I'm currently, I have their middleweight version that I'll be testing on a trailer very soon, but I wanted to come and actually see the goings on here in Utah. I, I, I like to recommend products that work. I like to recommend products that are manufactured in the USA even more, and that's a big reason we are here. So yeah, hopefully I can do this type of thing more and more, but today we're gonna go visit Waysafe. You're gonna see a little bit of R&D. You're gonna see uh, all the other products they offer more than just the weight distribution. And I think you'll enjoy this video. Yeah, hopefully it'll give you a little bit more confidence uh, the next time you are hitch shopping. Hope you'll stick around. Okay guys, let's go on in. And one thing to keep in mind with this video is uh, this is a manufacturing facility. So keep that in mind. This is not a hospital. This, uh, they don't have to be, everything doesn't have to be sanitized. And so you'll see a mess from time to time. I think that's anything with metal working shops. I think you guys understand that, but I think you'll find it very interesting. I've already taken a nice little tour, just kind of get our bearings and see how we want the video to flow. But uh, yeah, the first thing we're gonna do is just show you what they offer. Um, a lot of folks have, have bought the weight distribution hitch, but they offer uh, several other things some of you might be interested in. So yeah, let's go take a look at that first. All right, let's hop in here. And yes, they know I'm coming in. I'm not just barging in. Um, they have some displays out here, but the lighting wasn't very good. We'll show those, uh, we'll show all of these in just a second in here. But here's some awards they've won, some SEMA awards, some innovation awards. Yeah, let's go inside. A couple people you might meet. Um, you're gonna meet Morgan in this video. You may meet Jamie in this video. They're, uh, they're uh, way safe folks and you'll get to know them very soon. But yeah, we'll get started over here. You guys know this one. This is their heavyweight version, weight distribution hitch. This is the one that did so well in the hitch battle. Um, yeah, I love this hitch. We've reviewed this hitch, obviously. Now this is the one I'll be reviewing very soon once I have a trailer big enough to give it a real test. This is their middleweight version. This comes with a couple different types of bars uh, for different trailer weights. And you'll be seeing that one very soon. Here's some hitches, these are fun. Now these do, they do these for giveaways. So no, you can't call up and, and say, hey, will you make me an American flag hitch? But you can enter a giveaway and possibly win one. I thought those were pretty cool. But yeah, here's their other products. And I've seen these, I haven't done a lot of research on them, but obviously everything has a scale. Uh, these are cool, these are 180s. So here's a two inch, two and five eighths. Um, one in, what is that one? One and seven eighths, two inch on that one. So you just, you're just flipping and flopping on those. Um, this is their new Aero, that's what it's called, Aero. This one here, it's got a little clamshell on it. So if you've got two different sizes of balls, there you go, it's got the scale as well. A Little bit lighter draw bar right there. And then, yeah, you've got some gooseneck stuff over here. You can see some stats there. Everything will be linked in the description box below. So if you see something you like, go down there, hit that link, and uh, and yeah, do some more research. I can't do nearly as good a job of explaining this as the website can. But I do know someone that might be able to do give you a little bit more insight. All right, guys, this is Morgan. He's the chief engineer here at Waysafe. He's actually developed the middleweight and he's gonna tell you a little bit about it now and then maybe something fun later. Morgan, you wanna take it away? Sure, thank you. So you can see here, it's a lot you know, lighter of a design uh, compared to the heavy weight. Um, but here's how it quickly works, just to understand the gauge. It's gonna measure your tongue weight when you first load up your trailer to make sure you have that 10 to 15%. But then you hook on the spring arms, they hook to the apron of the trailer, you lift up, they, they're being lifted up by the trailer like a wheelbarrow, pushing the front of your truck back down. But because they're being lifted up, that means they're also pulling down on the tongue of the trailer. And that pull down force is measured in the same gauge as the tongue weight. And this comes with an app that you plug in your vehicle measurements, plug in your original tongue weight, and it'll tell you exactly what that force needs to be to be perfectly distributed. And all you do is adjust this lead screw, tighten or loosen it until that gauge reads that amount, and you're perfectly set up for a true tow while you're going down the road. All right, Morgan just gave me some good news. We're also going to assemble one of the heavyweights, which you guys know I love and I've tested. So yeah, look forward to that here coming up. Okay, this for me, this was the most interesting part of this walkthrough that we did earlier. Uh, Morgan's gonna take you through 
this is their R&D department, continuous improvement, R&D. There's some things that are coming up that I'm really excited about that I can't tell you about, but there's also some things here that are gonna be new that uh, Morgan will tell you about. Morgan, take it away, so man. As you can see, you can see a whole bunch of hitches of stuff we're working on. It's either continuous improvement or stuff that's gonna be released and is, is new. For example, here's what we're calling a smart hitch. This will be Bluetooth that will tell your tongue weight through your phone so you don't have to get out and look at the hitch. So as you're driving your vehicle up onto the trailer, you can just pull out your phone and know when to stop because you have the adequate tongue weight. This will also be able to connect with tire pressure monitors so you can know the pressure of your tires on your trailer. So if one goes flat, you know before you blow up the tire. This is our new 180 hitch that we're coming out with that will have a gauge. This gauge will actually measure the force on both tow balls depending on which orientation you have it. So it's just adding to our field of safety, trying to improve uh, towing performance and safety throughout the world. Right, and I, and I, I got a directional mic, guys, so I'll have to turn you around. I've watched some stuff that has come off these 3D printers. There's some stuff to stay tuned for, so be excited for that. Hey, this is something new that's coming. Fifth wheel has dampening features and it measures your tongue weight. These are obviously rough prototypes, but the concept is there and they're gonna be coming soon. All right, guys, another reason I, I love the fact that I came out here, and that is to see this testing apparatus they have built. They beat the mortal hell out of these hitches before they come to market. They can't say that, but I can. Morgan's gonna tell you a little bit more about this process. So we test our hitches first off to the this recommended standards out there. That's called the SAE J684 for bumper pull and for weight distribution. And we can test on this, this, this stand. Uh, basically we have hydraulics that we can push, pull, cycle test, apply static loads, and just, like he said, really put some pressures on right. our hitches. <laughs> Um, so those testing requirements have a, are allowed to bend the hitches. The hitches are allowed to bend as long as they don't come decoupled. We don't let them bend in our testing. We just we don't want them to bend, so we engineer them so that there's no yielding in the in the hitch itself. But then we go above and beyond, and we actually compress these until failure, just to know when they are going to fail, and we can make sure what they're rated at, they're going to support and not have any issues. Um, and we also do cycle testing. Uh, that's another part is, you know, we can push and pull. Um, part of some standards is over 900,000 cycles and three different orientations that we put all of our hitches through to make sure that they are going to last for the duration on the road. So that's what we're looking at right now. It's coupled up to the cycle tester. Yep. Right? And this piston just boop, 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 boop. Exactly all right. down for 900,000. Well, I think you mentioned the different directions too, right? That's right. So I'll go 300,000 directions in uh, laterally, then 300,000 vertically, and then 300,000 fore and aft. That's so awesome. those three different directions, and then we can have s s tongue weight applied during those or not. Uh, we're still trying to push the boundaries of safe towing, and so we're actually developing well, you know, on teams to develop new standards to help our hitches be safer on the road. And did this one is the pressure tester. They actually mount it with a big plate right here, and, and then you're yeah, basically so, pushing them to failure. Yeah, and we right. have rams that, you know, this is only two and a half inch board, but we have rams up to 14 inches that we can oh, push geez. with over 100,000 pounds. Now, we'll show you some hitches real quick of ones that we've just smashed to failure, just so you can see how far we we're trying to push the boundaries of hitches. One quick side note is this hitch right here, we were testing, and we we're testing it for 35,000 pounds, and the hitch broke our machine. We broke fixtures and hydraulic ramps trying to test the hitch for 35,000 pounds. So it didn't bend. Our hitch didn't bend at all. So you don't have to worry about our hitches. Nice. <laughs> all right. I love that they test these things to failure. We're going to show you a couple of broken ones. But, you know, how do you really know if uh, what they'll handle unless you actually break them and measure what broke them? So, yeah, check these out. Yeah, so you can see, you know, we put the drawbar in the worst case scenario and pushed it way above and beyond the J684 standards. And we've been able to break the, the receiver off. Um, with our three inch, you know, you see we broke the slider off. If we push it hard enough, it takes the slider right off. And again, these are above and beyond what's required by the standards out there. Because we want to know if it's going to break, when it's going to break, so we can make sure we focus on that with design changes and continuous improvement. So just a, just a rough, these are rough numbers, these are not actual numbers. Let's say this broke at like 30,000 pounds. You guys are gonna rate it for what, 10, 12? 
So Somewhere yeah, right yeah, there. yeah. We try to put at least a three times safety factor on any of our ratings. Um, that's also part of the SA J684 is it's three times whatever it's going to see in normal life use. We got to make sure it can see those forces three times that. And we're usually way above and beyond it. <laughs> so. That's cool. See, I have no idea what these SAE ratings are, but I will link them in the description box and you can read all about them. But obviously they know when these things fail because they're breaking them. And I think that's awesome. So something we also do is test all of our competitors' hitches. All right, guys, so not gonna spend a whole lot of time here, but this is their shipping department. And uh, yeah, you can see all of their regular hitches. There's some 180s right here. And yeah, everything's nice and organized. And if you've never been into DC before, uh, this is fairly clean, I'll say. Uh, I don't think many people are concerned about it, but you can, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time here. But uh, anything that you buy from Waysafe, it will at least spend a little bit of time here before it gets weighed all over in that area and shipped off to you. Okay, so we've just left this building. That was the shipping department there. And I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, they get their extruded aluminum from uh, a place here in Utah and then I think another place in California, so I'm told. So you can see, you know, you've got draw bars over here. We're gonna see all of this stuff get produced here in just a little bit. But I, I thought this was pretty cool. This, over here, this is how they make their toe balls. So you've got uh, you got two inch right here, and basically how it works is they they chop them down and then they mill them out. They're basically little pieces of art. Uh, yeah, if you're a nerd like me, yeah, you really you really think they're pretty. Here's the RV version right here. So yeah, these are these these things are about 60 pounds a piece. So they're no joke, stainless steel. But this is what it looks like before it's milled into that beautiful toe ball that you get with your hitch. So it's gonna start getting loud because we're gonna be getting into the manufacturing part, but you see all these bins out here? All of this is aluminum that will go to recycling. So um, so yeah, I think this is, they got a pretty cool machine here called a Puckmaster. And you can see all of their shavings end up looking like these little pucks of aluminum. So I gotta be careful with that. There's some sharp pieces, but here, here comes another one. Boom. So I thought that's pretty cool. All right guys, out here with the soon to be recycled aluminum, you got a little reject bin. And for some reason, these items didn't clear inspection. So I know for example, Morgan told me this one, the clearances here weren't perfect. And so this one had to go to the reject bin. Uh, I have to assume they recycle all of this as well. So yeah, I'm glad they got a re uh, reject bin. It just shows me that uh, they are inspecting. They are, they do care about what goes out the door. Yeah, so let's go and check out a little bit of manufacturing. Guys, we're about to go inside manufacturing. It's really loud in there. I don't know exactly how much you'll be able to hear, but the gist of all of this, and let me show you what we've got here. Uh, they're turning, they have, one of the machines basically takes uh, this big rod of stainless steel and turns it into these beautiful works of art. If you're a, a toe nerd like myself, uh, yeah, the, you can know you can appreciate this right here. So that's what one machine is going to do I'll show you what another machine is going to do you guys remember I showed you the extrusion earlier So you can see how well they come in they come in in these big long That's probably I've been guessing about 10 feet of extruded aluminum and then they cut that down into this This is a rough cut right here and then eventually it gets milled into this product right here and then polished all right guys we're inside now and really loud i understand but uh so here is your bars here stainless steel those get put on this rack that rack feeds them into you can see where they're cut right here and then they're milled in this here you can see all of the lubrication going on in there you can't really see anything but eventually out pops a ball so yeah pretty cool yeah. oh yeah so he doesn't have any coolant running right now, but you can see he just mills it down into that beautiful ball that you saw. All right, guys, so you can see here, here's the finished product on the machine you're about to see. Uh, he places one of these pieces of extruded aluminum in this bad boy, and a lot of the same milling goes on. So similar machines, just different parts, and then after that gets milled out, they put the scale in and they start to build the hitch. Obviously, this is where they polish the finished product.
We're gonna have Jared here. He's in quality control, packaging, um, basically kind of a warehouse manager here. He also does a lot of assembly here at Waysafe. He's gonna show you how to put together a one of the original Waysafe hitches, and then he and Morgan both are gonna show you the weight distribution hitch here in just a second, but take it away, man. Yes, sir. So here's our original Waysafe hitch straight off the machine. Um, these are very, very simple to put together. We got our 1500 gauge right here. That just screws into the gauge hole. Biggest thing right here is just making sure that it is completely in and completely flush with the gauge and straight with the gauge in the slider. And not over torquing it to strip it. Don't ever do that. And then making it look pretty. And then making it look pretty. And that's right. Always. There's a straight gauge right in there. Okay. Now we're going to be putting in our little plugs. Shoot, sorry, I forgot this tool, but here's this for you. Um, this no, is, we aren't doing this on camera. No, we are not at all. So we have this, our plugs, which basically hold all the oil in. Put a little out of Loctite on it. Make sure that it's all good and secure with our slider. And this will be our bottom plug, which will then will go onto the bottom. We always got to make sure that this is completely on there. And there's that for you. So now our next thing would be would be getting our plunger. Your plungers are right here for you. This okay, is basically yep. what has the weight piston. and a little piston right. for the oil in there. With the O-ring. And I'm gonna be getting my oil that is gonna be on this other side for sure. you. This is our hydraulic oil that we do with everything that to do with a gauge. And I'm gonna be slamming that in there. Here's our little tester ball that we use different than all the other balls and I'm gonna also get Jared ball says they use this too. one so it doesn't get stolen <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's gonna do us any good on the car right there pretty cool here's our little tester ball pin too just to hold that um, ball in there and now I'm gonna be walking over here to get our air okay we blow the air out just so that plunger goes completely up and you'll hear that little click sound. Yep, heard and that. now we'll be putting that uh, hydraulic oil in there. Okay, cool. Never really takes too much oil, but we always got to make sure that we fill it up. There is a couple air bubbles that we do when we put all the oil in there. So I'll fill it up completely. It only takes about one or two times for me to get the air bubbles out. So this is obviously extraordinarily important. Yes, very, right. very important. The if we don't, gonna work with air. exactly, it's right. going to be skipping. That's not what we want to do. This one actually got all the air bubbles out, so that was a pretty good turn. So we got all the air bubbles out right there. You see the oil just in there. Yep. So the next thing, I'll be using that next plug, and I'll be sealing off that oil. Remember to put so that lock side in there. Filling. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. And it's always okay to overfill it. It would be better to overfill it than not put enough oil in there. Now, for my sake, I always like to blow that rest of that oil out. So I'm going to go back over here to my hair. Sure. Be careful with this because the oil will be spraying. Here's that. So then we are good with that. So honestly, after that, now it looks like a complete slider right there. So I'm gonna come over here with our clamp then, okay. and I'm gonna be testing it for us. Cool. We test every single one of our gauges. Anything that has a gauge here, we test here. here then we'll be basically sitting it here for at least 30 seconds nothing less than 30 seconds so he's got it past the limit a little bit past the limit just to make sure it holds right up there um, and we let it sit here for 30 seconds making sure that there's no drop in the gauge pressure leaking of the oil or anything like that right especially with the plugs and gauge we want to make sure that those are all good that's why we test every single one of them
There's our little way safe sticker that we'll put on every single one of our way safes. And that just goes center on there. And that's what makes it look pretty. Nice. I didn't realize, guys, you can, I'm a little bit muffled because I'm behind the mic, but I didn't realize every one of those hitches comes with two balls. So you're always going to get a two inch ball. You can get the larger for like RVs, two and five sixteenths, or you get the smaller one and seven eighths, but they all come with at least this one and then either this one or the smaller one. And then how we basically put it together, we'll always put this one inside it right before we package it. And then here's our ball pin that we'll put in it too. And then with that, now we have our draw bar right here. Here's our 4-2 draw bar. This always goes with our 1,500 pound gauge, always a two inch. Now with that, we make sure that it works properly. Slides down really well. Got it. And that's what that bad boy looks like. Nice put together. Okay, friends, we're going to do a time lapse of a heavyweight way safe distribution um, hitch. It takes about 20 minutes to put these things together. Uh, I'll show you a couple of steps here. All right, so, so you can see one of the raw parts right here. This is going to be part of the heavyweight you're about to see put together. And then this has had about 10 minutes of assembly done here. You can see these insertions for the spring bars have gone in already and then we've uh, inserted it into this other piece right here. So yeah, let's get going with Jared and check it out. So here's our press right here. This is when we press every single one of our weight distributions just to make sure that it weighs correctly. Again, just like our weigh safe ones, this is when we basically sit these here for a good 30 seconds to let it hold that pressure. I'll be clamping this down, and we'll slowly see it go up. And we'll hold it right at 5,000, maybe a little bit past it just to make sure that holds that weight. Let yeah, you're maxing it out. Good 30 seconds. Make sure nothing is happening to it, no leaks or anything. Yeah, here you go. Here's the finished product. So you can see how this works. Now, if you've been watching the channel, you've seen this hitch several times. But if you haven't, here's the heavyweight, way safe weight distribution hitch, the true toe. And you've got uh, your spring arms here. This is rated up to a 20,000 pound trailer, right? Is that right? And then 2,000 pound hitch weight. So, again, heavy duty hitch here. There's your draw bar. Now, you can get this in, in, in uh, different drops, of course. I think this looks like the 8 inch drop. I think I'm using a 6 inch drop. I know a lot of you asked that. But yeah, it's kind of cool to see it go from just the bare parts to a finished product. Guys, I know a lot of you ask, how do you know their scales are on? And about one of every three gets tested. And you can see this little contraption here. This is way more complicated than I'd like here to get into. But it looks pretty fancy to me, and I would say that it's not going to get more accurate than this. Okay, friends, I hope you have enjoyed this little tour of Waysafe. Like I mentioned in the intro, I've recommended this hitch to a ton of people, and I know it makes me feel better to come up over here to Utah and check out how things are done. I love everything's hand-built and uh, USA-made, and I don't know, that means something special to me. So if you see anything you liked, every, the link for Waysafe will be in the description box below. I'll also link both of the weight distribution hitches, the heavyweight and the middleweight. They give you guys a promo code. I, I shot it up on the screen earlier in the video and you'll get 15% off when you use that promo code. That'll save you like 150 bucks sometimes. So maybe worth considering. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. This has been a lot of fun for me. Hope you're good. See ya.